Am I scapegoating the goat, Saturn? I was accused of playing a blame game, pointing at evil outside of myself. This is my reply. You are putting words into my mouth. The hate speech belongs to your interpretation, not to my expressions. Hurt people hurt people. Those suffering in the cage of Saturnian conditioning works hard on terminating the light of those who dares to walk the path of their own individual inner journey. The herd are following the jealous father. GLOS. Make us follow the prince of air, Satan, herd mentality, Capricorn, the shadow. The main function here is to keep everyone gathered inside of a gray mass, in more than one aspect. Saturn is dense, not light. The scapegoating is about to end, as those pointing fingers will be forced to meet their own child holding the inner mirror, the moon. Saturn is about to be replaced as center for consciousness, the top-down power is over. Individuals will take over and bypass the powers of Saturn. The collective will now consist of individuals each drinking directly from source, their inner self. Scapegoating is a hard mentality, a herd mentality, where the collective attacks the individual who dares to put his chin out, dares to be different. It is a psychological phenomenon that belongs to what is called group psychology. The foundation for scapegoating is to be found in human needs for security, read Saturn, which is fear, where everything that is considered unknown, is bad and threatening to the group. It is a bullying and exclusion by the herd, of anyone who dares to be an individual and not merely a person. An attack by the group, against an individual who dares to put his self-interests above the interests considered consensus, that is what the strongest members of this group decides. What I do is the opposite of scapegoating, I spread light on the phenomenon of scapegoating, by showing the roots of this phenomenon based in a herd mentality, coming from the axis of security, where Saturn rules the outer and hard, slash herd, and where Moon rules the inner, the subtle and loving mother. Saturnian characteristics are based in the insecurity of a collective group of humans, physical threats. This insecurity of the herd is what a small group of people, that I call Saturn cult, have used for millennia to enrich in themselves with. Their time is up as the top-down structure of Saturn will be demolished, the age of Aquarius begins, an age of individuals not persons. The word persona comes from the Greco-Roman theater, Saturn's limelight. I'm describing a function of energies, Saturn, and I have explained many times why I do this, the energies of Saturn and Uranus is like cat and dog, they are obsessed with each other for different motives. My Uranus is conjunct my ascendant, which means I am Uranus instinctively when I'm just being me. I noticed the trap you put for me in another comment, so I'll reply to that question before you will hand it to me, in a planned way of beating me, I have Uranus on my ascendant, which means I am Uranus, and yes, Uranus hates Saturn. What you haven't understood is that we all are split on the inside and that our ascendant speaks about how we instinctively are, an issue that is solved once we have integrated our shadow, which mostly belongs to the descendant, and both these ASC and DC are square to our IC, Moon, and DC, Saturn. I have already found and eradicated most of that evil inside of me, my shadow. My expressions are forced to take a dualistic form since the conceptual dimension of air slash thoughts is dualistic in its nature. My anger is based in love, all is a paradox. In my perspective I'm spreading light and love where the inside meets the outside, I'm balancing in an equilibrium between inner and outer. Light dances with shadows. Feminine, middle and masculine pillars are united. I have described that my story is based on my inner journey with the attempt to guide other individuals on their spiritual journey, placing the red thread of Ariadne inside of the labyrinth for others to find their way out. I have also described how this journey is necessary and that Saturn fills a big function in human life. Not everyone have the same relationship to Saturn as I do, on the contrary, some need more of his structures. Note, I have also described how my MC, connected to Saturn, my central role in the public is ruled by Gemini, Mercury, my legacy is that of inner communication released to the public, and where the persona enters the public scene, is Aries slash Mars, the warrior, in my case blocked by Saturn, the peaceful warrior, entering the stage late in life. I have posted that alchemy is based on making your serious, linear, and controlling structures of Saturn transformed into cyclical, connect to moon slash mother, to paradoxically, through love make the black sun into the playful and happy sun, give love to the orphaned Saturn, turn lead slash Saturn, to gold slash sun. Do not judge and you'll not be judged. Once you have integrated your inner dynamics, with the split between the corner points, you are controlling your inner heaven and filters your impressions and expressions. You are aligned with the energies between the inner and outer.